The coffee farming project in the Ura region of rural Honduras was a collaborative effort between residents of the village of Lagunitas and the students in the Engineers Without Borders chapter at Lafayette College. While an important project goal was to create a sustainable economic activity that could improve the lives of the residents in Lagunitas, the overriding intent was to instill the values of entrepreneurship as a foundation for the village's economic growth. Another important intention was to promote co-learning between students and villagers. This would help both the students and villagers become more sensitive to the complex demands of world citizenship. Kavinda Yudagama was one of the initiators of this idea and helped get the project started. I wasn't able to uh, visit Honduras this summer, but that's partially because I had an Excel scholarship as well that was going on at the same time. Um, but also, uh, my main role in the project was, well, I came up with the idea along with one of the 07 grads uh, from last year, and we came up with the idea that we wanted to do an entrepreneurship project for the community in Honduras, because up until now, what we have been doing was, we've been building water systems and infrastructure systems for these people, but then their lifestyle wasn't improving because they still didn't have money or a fixed source of income, so that's what we wanted to go out and change. And so we came up with an idea for, to start up a coffee, uh, coffee plantation and to kind of promote coffee uh, in those regions because coffee is freely available. So, and when we came up with that idea, I applied for a $10,000 grant uh, that uh, allowed people to you know, start miniature, small-scale uh, entrepreneurship projects around the world. And so when we won the $10,000 grant, I was involved in the planning step from that point onwards as well. The project was awarded a grant from the Catherine Wasserman Davis Foundation during the spring of 2007 as a part of the 100 Projects for Peace program. The focus was on facilitating the villagers' pursuit of sustainable and profitable coffee farming as a complementary activity to the water infrastructure that had previously been put in place through a collaborative effort by Lafayette Engineers Without Borders and villagers. There were like eight weeks of eight seven weeks of research uh, prior to the trip, and then down there just basically helping the implementation of the whole project, which was digging holes, cutting cutting trees. Well, not trees, like yes, bushes and everything, cleaning the land, uh, logistics, going into the also into the city, doing some research on field there, like buying coffee and testing the looking at the quality compared to with the one they had from last year and seeing what are the prices in the market and where can we get and what's the quality. So it was basically a lot of research and implementation. The Lafayette team combined its knowledge from a liberal arts background with the Lagunitas community's contributions of farming skills and hard work. Back on campus I spoke to Mickey Edelman about the project's multidisciplinary aspects. It isn't just Will something work? You know, that's, that's not the question that you need to ask if it's going to be effective for sustainable development. You also have to look at, you know, the social side of it. You know, is it going to work within the community's needs and within the community's limitations? You know, the economic side, is it going to, are they going to be able to afford it? Is this reasonable with the resources that they have and the resources that are available to them? And I found that when we were down there in July, I wasn't just thinking like an engineer. I was trying to think like a sociologist and an economist and, and everything at once, you know, and it, it was sort of a combination of all those things. The students were accompanied by Lafayette's professor, Flooney Hutchinson, as their advisor and mentor. Yeah, I think right? He gave us his ideas. And um, he also took our ideas and made them better or gave us, gave us feedback on what he thought. He was never imposing anything, he just worked with us and um, it, was a, it was very good working with him. I think he's, he's just the right person for this kind of project. He was excellent. I am neither the head of EWB nor am I a member of EWB. I was the person who was invited in 
to try and give this particular project the kind of meaning that EWB was interested in giving it. Lafayette gives you the tr gives you the opportunity to get involved in all these different kind of like wonderful activities, and and it's up to you to take them. The fact that co the campus and the college kind of tries to expose you to all these various aspects uh, and various cultures at the same time. I feel that that's, uh, that's the thing that helps a lot of students and uh, gain a better understanding of the, you know, what else is going on around them in the world. It's, it's the fact that you can do it here, like if you want to, then there are the, the, the opportunity exists to do it. Lafayette's Engineers Without Borders Coffee Farming Project and others like it provide students with interdisciplinary learning experiences on a global scale. These types of hands-on, real-life experiences allow students to explore numerous possible career fields. You can learn more about this project and many other similar opportunities at www.lafayette.edu.